Hello everybody, Tarek37 here, welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic 2, the Sith Lords Restored Content Mod. Uh, we're still in the camp, I'm not going to leave yet until I've done everything that I possibly can in this camp. Which includes looting from the Mandalorians, since they seem to be planning on eventually attacking the uh, Republic with them, and I'd really rather they not. I'd really rather they not. Um, yeah, I just really don't want to have to deal with, have the Republic have to deal with, on top of everything else, these a-holes. Um, reprogram the computer, and that's done. Oh, hey, Beodor and Handmaiden level up. Nice. All right. Uh, 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 injury, feats. Oh, yeah, he's also a Jedi Guardian. Um, I'll give him dueling, master dueling, so now he's going to be even better. Um, yeah, let's go with master heal. Yeah. Handmaiden. Level 21. Treat injury, because that's going to be really helpful. Uh, yeah, let's keep going with improved flurry. Get that uh, penalty down lower, and... Force wave because that could also be helpful. And we're getting really close to leveling up. And I'm actually gonna take a look at the workbench. All oh, right, I can upgrade this with stuff. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to create. Let's see, can I get my yes? I can. But I need to break stuff down first. So. Let's start with this exchange negotiator. Um, okay. Um, this blaster pistol's not worth it. Mm. This heavy sonic blaster, I doubt I'll use it. Same with the Sistec oral blaster. Don't think I'll use that either. Uh, Combat Enforcer... I might. Disruptor Rifle... Um, oh man, that's really disappointing. Um, let's see, what else could I break down? I'll break down one of these. Exar Coon's Light Battle Suit. You know what, let's break this down. Uh, Burpine Fiber Mesh, Sith Battle Suit... Mandalorian heavy armor, Mandalorian assault armor. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll destroy the breath mask, I don't know. Sith power gauntlets. Maybe I'll give those to Beodor. Uh, let's see, Paragus mining shields aren't worth it. Um, thermal shield generator. Multi-shield generator. Yeah, I need to give that to somebody. Uh, nerve amplifier belt. That could be helpful. Let's see, a health package. Whoa. Yeah, I'm just gonna break one of those down. Uh, break that down, break that down, break that down. And break that down as well. well let's get rid of the regular adrenal stuff. Um, broken item, maneuvering flaps. Can't really use those anymore. Um... Three blaster rifles, and they're not really worth it. Uh, I got anything else that I could... Ooh, could destroy the Gand Shock Staff. Not upgradable, so really not worth it. All right. And I think with that... Yeah, let's make a couple of these. Five, six. Yeah. Um, let's see, what other stuff could I potentially make? Pure. Hmm. I might end up seeing what Beodor can make. Demolitions, computer use, security. Yeah, he can probably make a lot of cool stuff. All right. And oh, forgot. Before I do any of that, upgrade. I'm gonna replace that here. Give you that as well. And give you 
do that as well. And you don't really rely on dexterity too much. Gives you a bit of extra defense. And that vibro sword. Hmm. What could I give it? Vibration cell? No, probably not. Enhanced energy cell. Let's do that. Edge. Improved mullenine edge. Let's do that. And grip of advanced agrinium. There you go. The best vibro sword I can give you, buddy. Lightsaber. I still need an energy cell, which I believe means what's up with the camera? Oh god. What happened? Oh god. I can't see. What happened? Oh god, the camera's pointed up. Help! Somebody! Oh. oh okay, I figured it out. Oh, that was terrifying. Okay. That was... Ah, Shi'arn. I might just break this down. I don't like that it's not upgradable. I prefer being able to upgrade my items. You know what I mean? Alright, yeah, he can make everything on this. He could make a Ryuk blade. Ooh, oh, but that one's only... Mm. We can make a Verpine prototype shield. I think that's a... Yep, doing that, because that, that's going to be really good for pretty much everything. Uh, the Mandalorian melee shields... Oh. So many of these. Making so many of these. Uh, okay, and let's see what else we can break down. <laughs> See, Aerotech, Ion Master. Uh, I might break these down. This I'll break down as well. Um, Dark Jedi Night Robe. I think I'm going to disable this as well. Not disable. Uh, deconstruct. Reinforced Fiber Armor. Ooh, that's good, but I'm breaking it down. Okay, creatable items now. Lightsaber. Okay, you can make every type of energy cell in at all. The ultimate diadium energy cell. Let's make a couple of these. Yeah. My god, man. My god, man. Improved beam gem lens. Man, the only thing that I can make that he can't, I think, is the Pontite lens. Wow. And that's because that requires a, high, a slightly higher awareness. Well, not slightly. 27, but, you know. Oh, why does the camera do that? Hold on, I'm going to make some of those Pontite lenses. Because if I'm the only one who can make them... And while we're at it, let's break down some more stuff, because I can. Uh, let's break down the Zabrak Heavy Armor. Make sure... Okay, there's something weird about this workbench. Some weird bug. Alright, lightsaber. Upgrade. Energy cell. The ultimate diadium cell. Uh, Boss's dueling lens. I'll, I'll keep that. Approved deflection emitter, yeah. Alright, and... Alright back down okay so next thing that we're gonna do there's the dueling circle where we're gonna have to go to uh, eventually um, but before then okay so this is the shuttle we're going to be taking to Onderon which we can't use yet but there's a lot of how the hell did you get Arca Jeth's robe hold on Arca Jeth's robe restricted to light side Ooh, it provides a regenerate force points, which, unfortunately, I've got this thing, which, you know, is just better in every way, so. I mean, the only thing it doesn't have is the regenerating force points thing, but, ooh, there's still underlay. That could be good for somebody. Uh, flexible underlay. That could be good for somebody. Chemicals and a frag <clears throat> Yeah, 
just gonna loot this last box, then we'll go to the battle circle and do a bunch of battles. And hopefully I'll be able to get through this. I might see if I can unequip the one of the duels and will involve a sword. And I think it's just gonna be better if I don't. Um, if I don't use a sword, if I just go in with fists. Um, Davril. No, not Davril. Sergeant. So, the Jedi comes to grace us. The battle circle is reserved oh, only for real warriors. Your Jedi way won't help you here. Screw you. Uh, who are you? For today, I have the honor of commanding the battle circle. I decide who fights who and make sure all the rules are followed. Is this where Mandalorians train? The battle circle is only a small part of our training regiment. A full Mandalorian warrior is a master of many fighting techniques. And here, all of them are tested. If you were to compete, you would have to do so on our terms. For that is the way of the battle circle. Those with great honor decide the terms of engagement. Jedi rely too much on their vaunted powers. They lose touch of the power of their arms and feet. Without your force, would you be a match for even the lowliest of Mandalorian warriors? If you want to try and fight us on our turn, that can be arranged. I mean, technically... So, I have beaten Headman without my force powers, but technically, you can't... Most Jedi can't really turn off the connection of the force. It's kind of an always-on feature of being connected to, you know, all life life in, in the galaxy. You can't really turn that off. The power is technically always on. So, the, I think there was, like, one Jedi who was actually a really good martial artist, and he was able to just shut off his connection to the Force temporarily, and he would do that and he'd fight in uh, martial arts tournaments. And he did end up getting beat, but the person who beat him was kind of a jerk and believed that, and started to, and basically started thinking that the Force wasn't real, when it was just like, no, I just didn't, he just didn't use the Force on him, so. Uh, I want to fight in the battle circle. You are new here, so you will fight Davro. Young and has not been able to prove himself in battle. Devil, what are your terms? No weapons, no Jedi ah. tricks, and no items. Just ah. fist and force. A true test of strength. Put your weapon away, Jedi. Don't step out of the circle and pull any death blow. No one dies in the battle circle. Step into the battle circle. Now you will experience ah. a true fight. All right. And Master Flurry, since I, there's no reason not to. Oh, hey! Hey, not bad, Davril. The match between Jedi and Davril is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. Davril is just a recruit. I'm not surprised you won this fight. Are you sure? Because you seemed really sure as little honor as you have gained, that uh, it is to I, you seemed really request. confused as to whether I could possibly beat again. even the quote-unquote lowliest of Mandalorian warriors. Hey, devil. I have lost. Oh, but this was no true contest. Jedi are skilled warriors, and I am young. I will train very hard to match you in combat next time. But there are others already here who are more than your equal. Braylor is one of the mightiest among us. He could teach you humility. Doubtful. Here to watch a fight or to participate. I want to fight. After defeating Dalaran, you have gained a small honor. There is a challenger for you. He is Kex, the quartermaster. Since he is the challenger, you get to choose the challenger. Uh, hand to hand, like fight with Davril. I will send a runner to Kex. Prepare yourself for your fight, Jedi. But I think I, I think similar to the Handmaiden, although not nearly as good. I should be pr better with fist and foot than than with the lightsaber. Jeez. Jeez, Kex. Kex and Jedi is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. If you want to fight again, let me know. All right. Let's go round three. Here to watch a three. fight or to participate. 
I want to fight. You choose to fight again. Now face a real Mandalorian warrior. Tagren, what are your terms? Just fist and foot like you fight with Devil. Nothing else. Tagren chooses to fight hand to hand. Remember, no weapons allowed. And absolutely no use of your force. Alright. Let's see how good you are, Tagren. Ooh, even though you only did... Jeez, you're a tough cookie, I'm not gonna lie, you're tough. You're real tough. Wow, you're agile. I'm impressed, you know what? I'm impressed. I wonder what would happen if I like, came into this stimmed up to the mines. Probably be really stupid. And there I go. The match between Jedi and Tagrin is over. Tagrin is the clear and honorable victor. Against any full Mandalorian, it appears you cannot win. Come back if you want a rematch. I'm sure that Tagrin could use the exercise. Yeah, I'm sure he could too. Alright. And... Uh, let's see here. What? I won. Yeah, I wonder if I could, like, put on Master Speed beforehand and just. Alright. I'm gonna try that real quick. Here to watch him. I wanna fight. You just attack. He's gonna heal back up. And. And the f it wore off. Alright. That's what I was worried about. I was worried that that exact situation would happen, and it turned out it did. Oh well. Live and learn. And it keeps it fair. Uh, he's good. Oh my god. Yeah, his, he's just better at me. Better than me at this. Mm, it's close. Like, in theory, I think I could beat him. I, I actually do think I could beat him without leveling up or doing any weird tricks. So... I'm gonna try one more time. And try again. And we're just gonna do standard thing of just. Oh my god. I think at this point it's just we're so evenly matched, it's gonna be down to the dice, basically. Which I'm absolutely fine with. Well, not really. But you know. and... Ooh, I think I could win this. I think I could win this. I just need Oh, come on, don't... Oh, that was a close one. The match one. between Jedi and Tagren is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. You have fought well today. The only Mandalorians left for you to fight are our champions. No one can fight a champion until they have proven themselves worthy. And it must be real proof. The kind you gain fighting foes to the death. And a champion must observe and deem your actions worthy. There are two champions in the camp, Braylor and Kelborn. Until you prove yourself in their eyes, the battle circle is closed to you. Alright. Ooh. Yeah, I know that. That fight with Tagrin's the first real uh, challenge in the battle circle, I think. So the Jedi Order isn't completely dead. You always had hidden strength. Very hard for even the wisest Mandalore to judge and predict. I have studied much of the Jedi since our defeat. I would be honored to cross blades with you in the battle circle. Oh, hmm. uh, you don't? Uh, no, I'm not gonna say any of those. Because, like, just asking him to spawn to me is like he hasn't seen You have seen. prowess in battle, this cannot be denied. But your Jedi teachings prevent you from having a true warrior spirit. Jedi couldn't have beaten us in the Mandalorian Wars. It took a fallen Jedi to gain that honor. Yeah. All right. Well, now it's time to go out and do stuff. So, 
I'm not gonna go with the guide because not really necessary. Uh, we're gonna go out to the ducks and jungle, do all the stuff we can. I think all of it can be done in this area of the jungle. I don't think we have to go back. You finally arrived. I seek to reclaim the honor that you stole from me. I challenge you here, outside of the battle circle. This time, we fight to the death. That seems really stupid. I don't want to kill you. I refuse. You would deny my request? I want to fight here, in front of other Mandalorians, to prove my worth. Do not shame me further. There must be other ways to prove yourself. There were no wars to fight, no great enemies to destroy. I wish this was a different age, where our armadas were a force to be feared. What about the Zakeg? I've heard they're a challenge even for a Mandalorian patrol. The Zakeg? Those are the deadliest beasts in this part of the jungle. Patrols are right to be cautious about them. I'll do what I must to prove myself to the other Mandalorians, but fighting a Zakeg would be a short-lived honor. Well, I'm looking for the Zakeg. We could fight it together. What? Yes, uh, I suppose that is possible. We would both gain recognition from that battle. Your plan is acceptable to me. Together we will destroy the Zakeg. I will meet you there. Great. Alright. Follow Davril for a little bit. I'll probably end up having to stop the recording for a little bit. Um, I'm not gonna. Probably gonna have. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stop recording in a bit because we're getting around that time. Oh, look, a Boma! A different animal than the. Oh, I forgot to re equip my lightsaber. I don't think the Maurus have any, um... Oh, hey, no, it's that guy. Went the wrong way. Oh, well. You there, I... I am in need of your assistance. Are you Kumis? Zarga thought you were dead. I'm Kumis. Zarga was not wrong in thinking me dead. We assume that any Mandalorian who does not report back within a day has been taken by the jungle. I still live. I am just in a difficult situation. Uh, how can I help? sent to look for weapon caches in this region. They found three sites that looked promising. Zarga told me to prove myself by taking explosives to those sites and uncovering the caches, if they exist. So how'd you get up there? This was the first site. After easily dispatching some Maras, I removed my pack and began to plant my charges along this ridge. When I finished setting the charges, I looked down to see Canucks swimming all over my pack. The pets were eating everything. I killed the Canucks, but then a herd of Bomas arrived. I had no more ammo. The extra energy cells I had brought had been in my pack, so I've been up here, weaponless, for two days. Wait, you ran out of... Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. Uh... I mean, you tried running? Even if I got by the Bomas, there are too many beasts between here and the checkpoint. Bravery is commendable, but there is no honor in suicide. I thought I could survive until another patrol came by and then return to camp with my brothers. Uh, how can I help? You must have cleared a path to the beasts coming here. If you take care of the Boma beast, I can make it to safety. I could give you an extra ammo clip. My blaster rifle's been useless ever since I used it to bash in a Canuck's skull. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll go drive off the Bomas then. Your actions are worthy of a Mandalorian. Return here when you have slain the beast and I will be able to return to camp. Alrighty then. And don't touch the concrete detonator, because that will kill him. Let me handle this. How do you like that? Oh, yeah. Talk to Kumis? Yeah, Kumis. I'm grateful. 
grateful for your help, stranger. I'm returning to the Mandalorian camp now. I won't forget this. I have only one request. Please, don't mention this incident to anyone. Fair enough. Even though Mandalorians were your sworn enemy, you would still save one in need? You are a perplexing man, Exile. Mm, no one deserves to die like that. I will have to think of what you say. Yeah, lights up. I wonder if I can set off the permacrete detonator now, actually. Huh. Uh, press the button. Any signs of any cool stuff? I didn't remember there being any cool stuff, but I've forgotten stuff before. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of different... Um, Oh, by the way, yeah, the multi-phase shifter thing, yeah, that's actually um, been split into three parts and eaten by three separate canogs. So, Wait a moment. do you see that boma over there? The force flows through even these simple creatures. To your mind, you may be able to feel its thoughts. They aren't fully formed. Basic instincts, urges, dominated by every breath and every moment. I feel it. Good. Beasts can be easier to affect than other sentience. But you must bridge the gap between what distinguishes us and them. You feel its consciousness? Yes. Storm. Use the force to create a barrier around it. Make it with care and subtlety. I'll try. Do or do not. Let's see. Will it completely work or will it use shake? You came close, and you have potential. With practice, you can make any animal passive and pliable. It is possible to successfully. Their perception is a fragile thing. Many things can break its hold. Violence, especially. Thank you. I never knew about that. I still hate you, Kraya. Subtle and more powerful than people imagine. Keep an open mind. I already gained the power of beast trick. Let's try this again. And it worked that time. Of course, in the cutscene it didn't work, but I have seen it work in the cutscene. I have seen it work in the cutscene. Kraya is very impressed, although, again, I am not a fan of Kraya, given that Kraya freaking tried to dismantle T3 and 4. Back to my stick. Where the heck did I get out this? possible for some of these canox to drop lightsabers. I'm not 100% sure, but I have a vague recollection that that was a possibility. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get in 
closer to this thing. It's a Mars, not a king. Oh well. Alright, I think this is the way to the Zake. Two of three. Nice. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go up. And we'll probably end the episode there. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Oh, it's called up computer use. Uh, unarmed specialist six. So actually, after one more level up, I actually probably could have beaten that guy. Which basically does an additional sixty-four, I think. If I'm calculating that correctly. Oh yeah, Gearhead isn't an available feat if you're... I guess I'll improve my deflection rolls. Or I could get toughness, but I'm not going to do that. Now let's see, one more power. Ooh, I could get Master Revitalize, or I could get Beast Confusion which I think basically means that, yeah, it's a, they will fight for, fight your opponents for 30 seconds. Um, so yeah, the options are Master Revitalize, which is pretty good, or Beast Confusion, or, you know, any, um, any of these other abilities, like maybe Force, the Force Valor Tree all the way to the end of that, you know, boosting everything. Um, I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'll just use Beast Confusion on the main character and select this. But everyone else can learn it who's a force user. Because I like maxing out my abilities before getting new ones. Alright, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day. Bye.